How can I catch the mouse? You stupid cat! You should take linear system theory and learn something about state transition matrix. What's that? State transition matrix is defined by the following formula, and it depends only on the time interval t zero to t, not initial condition x zero. What hell is it? It's so complicated. Well, for a linear system which has the state space function like this. We can get the solution of the equation or the evolution of the system by using state transition matrix. When there is no input, then the state transition matrix times the initial condition will give the state at t. We call it zero input response. When the initial condition is zero, we can use an integral to get the solution. We call it zero state response. In general, the state at t equals the combination of zero input response and a zero state response. In time invariant system, the state transition matrix equals to exponential at. We can use Taylor expansion or other methods to solve it. But in time varying system, it will be more difficult. Here we introduce the concept of a fundamental matrix. If we can find n linearly independent solutions to this equation, then the solutions will form a fundamental matrix. For any fundamental matrix, the product of itself and its inverse to t zero. Equals to the state transition matrix. Here we have several useful properties of a state transition matrix. Let's go back to Tom and Jerry. Tom wants to catch Jerry. First of all, we should model Jerry as suspension spring where the state is Jerry's position and velocity. Then we can easily write down the state function and get its state transition matrix. If we are given the initial state and the time interval. We can easily predict Jerry's state in time t by using state transition matrix. Now let's see the difference. So, if Tom has learned how to use state transition matrix, then when he sees the state of Jerry, he will know where Jerry will be after t time, and then he can easily catch Jerry. Here is another intuitive example. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. In this movie, the evolution of psi satisfies such equation. As there is no input, we can consider the dancer as an autonomous system. So we can easily compute the state transition as follows. If we know his motion in t0 and the state transition matrix from t0 to t, and then we can easily compute his motion in t. Back to the movie, we can see that psi transforms from one state to another. Here is in t1, t2, t3, t4, t5, t6, t7, t8, t9, t10. This is 10 different states we take from the system through the time. If we know that the state of psi at t3 is equal to this, then we can compute that the state of psi at t5 is equal to phi t5 t3 times the state of psi at t3, which is equal to this. So now, do you understand what a state transition matrix is?